This is Wine News Weekly with Jay Jackson. Hello, I'm Jay Jackson. Welcome to Wine News Weekly. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. The direct-to-consumer market for wine continues to boom. Wines Vines Analytics says DTC sales topped $4 billion last year for the first time. Analysts say Napa Valley saw the biggest increase in sales, with Cabernet Sauvignon leading the way. Then with Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Red Blends, and Zinfandel. Those were the top sellers. New York moviegoers can now get more than popcorn, candy, and soda in their seats. They can also get beer and wine. State regulators approved an ordinance change that allows service to bring beer or wine directly to moviegoers in their seats. Previously, it could only be served in the lobby. Movie theater operators applaud the ruling, saying other live events, such as concerts and conventions, have long sold alcohol directly to attendees. A new study from the World Heart Association is raising some eyebrows. It says any amount of alcohol is putting your health at risk. The organization worked with the World Health Organization to collect data on drinking and deaths. Drinkers have an overwhelmingly higher rate of death than non-drinkers. The World Heart Association says they are trying to dispel the wildly held belief and widely held belief that two to three drinks a day is good for your health. And finally, the Wine News Weekly Wine of the Week presented by Coco Vino Los Angeles. It's the 2012 Gerard Petit Syrah. This fruity, well-balanced red is definitely worth a try. Learn more about it at CocoVinoLA.com. And that's going to do it for this episode of Wine News Weekly. If you're watching on YouTube, please make sure you visit our sponsors listed in the description section below. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. I'm Jay Jackson. Cheers. This is Wine News Weekly with Jay Jackson.